for Ibiza, fifth nomination, yeah. a win for John Wills Booth, and now a nomination for Juan Perón. It's me and the historical characters, I guess. <laughs> Did you have to find a way to love Juan Perón to play him? Well, I mean, I think you always have to find your character's point of view, and, and you know, I don't think it really works for you to be critical of your own character. You trust the production to make the, you know, right perspective and, and commentary, and I did a lot of research, watched a lot of documentaries, was in Buenos Aires, met with a gentleman from the Peron Institute for five hours in Buenos Aires, and, and you know, got the perspective from, from that point of view, and, and to be honest, from their point of view, there's a lot to admire. You know, it was the most progressive uh, government in Latin America. They did a great deal for the workers of the, of the country, for the women, for uh, the poor and disenfranchised. How they did it is another question. But uh, but the, the other really crucial thing is that all of my research led me to believe that there really was a genuine love and, and affinity between him and Ava. Not and, just a political alliance. No, no. There, I saw so many photographs that were, you know, candid shots or shots that weren't posed or weren't, you know, for public uh, dissemination. And, and the way they looked at each other in these photographs just kind of made it clear. And the, and the video clips that I was able to see, um, that I'm sure there are you know, strategic political elements, as there are in most relationships, if people are honest about it. Um, you know, but, but, but there really was a love there. And that was an interesting story, an interesting new element to bring to, the, to our production. Michael, when the, the show first opened on Broadway, 1979-80, made such a big splash. It won a slew of Tony Awards, and it seemed in many people's eyes that it could not be topped. Was it daunting for you to take on this role in this particular show? It was, absolutely. I had seen that production, too, so it was daunting having to live up to my own memory of it, and to my memory of Bob Gunton and, and Mandy Patinkin and um, Patrick Cohn and Hal Prince's production. Um, luckily, we'd had the Madonna film in the middle, so that was, that was kind of a revival of sorts and, and offered at least another version of the storytelling. Um, and I think that probably is why, you know, we, we have the advantage of standing on the shoulders of all of those achievements. And then I guess the, a lot of the reason why we went back to the sources and to the the most authentic kind of portrayal of things was to, to not be in dialogue with those other productions, but be in dialogue with the historical fact. Congratulations, Michael. Good Thanks. luck to the entire company, to Elena Rod. Thanks, Donna, Frank, back to you. Okay, thanks, you guys.